Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are upgrading the M.2 SSD on our Lenovo Idea Center 3. Here's what we're going to be using today, our PH2 screwdriver, our M.2 screw kit, a flash drive, and our M.2 SSD. So the flash drive is to create a bootable Windows 10 installer. If your plan is to image or clone, you can do that as well. So we're going to open up a browser and look for Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. So we're going to download Windows 10, Microsoft.com, and under Create Windows 10 Installation Media, we are going to do Download Tool now. So that is going to end up in our Downloads folder. So we're going to open that up. All right. So it's going to show us uh, some terms here. So read the terms and press Accept when you are ready. Next, we're going to select Create Installation Media, since we're using a USB flash drive. And here, I'm going to press Next, since we're using 64-bit. And then, we're going to select Flash Drive. So they do recommend a flash drive with at least 8 gigabytes of storage. So we're going to select this, since we are using a SanDisk, and we're going to press Next. So it's going to create the flash drive. So like I said, um, if you're going to image or clone, feel free to do that as well. I prefer doing a fresh install to avoid any bloatware because there's a lot of stuff that I don't need. So that is why we are creating a fresh bootable Windows 10 media. So now that the flash drive is ready, I'm going to press finish. It's going to clean up. And once that's ready, I am going to eject the flash drive. Right click eject. All right, so now that we have our flash drive ejected, we're going to remove it. And let's shut down our computer and let's get to work. All right, first thing we want to do is unplug our cable. So power cable, mouse and keyboard, and our monitor cable. Now we want to hold down the power button for a few seconds to remove any residual energy. Next, we want to grab our PH2 screwdriver and there's one screw right here. We're going to remove it. Now we can remove our side panel or side cover. All right, next thing we want to do is remove the front panel or the front face plate. So there's these three tabs here. Just gently going to push it. There you go. Voila. Easy peasy. Let's do that again, but let me get you a closer look. So just there's three tabs. There you go. Awesome. So far so good. All right, the next thing we want to do is we want to remove the SATA power and the SATA data cables from the 7200 RPM hard drive. So the SATA one, if you can see it on the motherboard, is actually connected to the hard drive. So that's SATA one and the SATA power right there. So two things. So let me show you a photo so you can have a better idea. So these two were connected to the hard drive. Next thing we want to do is we want to remove the uh, power and data to the optical or DVD drive. So we just got to remove this and this. So this one is connected to SATA 2 on the motherboard. So let me show you a photo to give you a better idea. So yeah, that is what was connected to the optical or DVD drive. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to remove the optical drive. So there's a red and black tab. I'm going to push it in and gently pull it out. Voila. Easy peasy. Let me show that to you again, but from a different angle. Yeah, you just got to push it in gently and pull it out at the same time, and you're good to go. All right, so we have one screw here. So we're going to grab our PH2 screwdriver once again and gently remove this. Now we can lift this up so that we can gain access to our M.2 SSD. 
So let's get our M.2 SSD and uh, M.2 uh, screw kit ready. So looking at the motherboard, it looks like we are only going to need the M.2 screwdriver and the flathead screw. We don't need a washer or anything like that. So this is what we're going to be using. So let's open up our M.2 SSD now. So keep in mind there are faster M.2s out there. This was the best budget one I could find at the time. So if you have the budget, you can definitely go bigger and faster. I will put up screenshots of the before and after as well to show you the read and write speeds. Okay, so this looks like a good angle to show you where the M.2 is going to go. So all we have to do is grab our M.2 SSD. And I'm just going to gently place it in. And they say it's a 30 degree angle. So, so far so good. Now I'm going to gently push down the SSD. D and secure it with this flathead screw from our M.2 screw kit. So let's see here. Push it down. Let me move my hand so you can see. So I'm pushing it down gently and then I'm going to secure it using the screw. Nothing fancy. Voila. So next let's put back our hard drive. So let me show you. So these go in here. We want to make sure it's secure and then the sides as well. Let me show you a different angle. So you put it in here just in case you didn't see it from the other side. And then if you look at the sides as well, it goes in right there. Awesome. Easy peasy. Next we can return our screw here. All right, next you want to grab our optical drive and we're just going to gently push it in. There we go, easy peasy. So you can see the red and black tabs sticking out again. So let me just show you. I'm just going to gently push it in. Voila, so far so good. So you can see the tab sticking out. Now we can return our SATA power and SATA data. So we are hooking up the hard drive right now. So far so good. Now we can connect our optical drive once again. So yeah, keep in mind SATA 1 was connected to the hard drive and the SATA 2. Um, is connected to the optical drive, if that makes it easier for you. All right, now we can return our front cover or front um, face plate, I guess. So we're going to gently push this in, and there we go. Now we can return our side cover, and we can return the one screw. Okay, now we can plug it in and we can give it a test. So we're going to insert our Windows 10 bootable flash drive and we're going to turn it on. So you definitely want to press F12 to get into the um, this option here. You can also press F2, but it, it'll look a little bit different. But I prefer just using F12 since I'm used to it. And we selected our uh, SanDisk UE, UEFI, and we're going to get our Windows 10 um, installer option here. I took a photo so you can see it much better. And then all you have to do is press Next and Install Now. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't use a capture card, so it's hard for me to record this part. So it's going to show you the terms. Uh, look over the terms and press Next when you are ready. Right here, press next, and then we're going to custom, custom install Windows Advanced, right here. So let me show you a photo as well. 
So on the bottom here is our brand new M.2 SSD and the drive zero partitions. That is our original hard drive. So we're going to delete all of that. Like I said, I highly recommend backing up your data or if you're going to image or clone, you probably don't even need to um, see this. So we're going to be deleting all these other partitions and we're going to end up with just two unallocated spaces. So let's start deleting. Me, I'm not too worried because I don't really have anything important on this. So I'm just going to delete, delete, delete. So you're going to end up with two unall unallocated space. So the bottom one is our M.2 SSD. I'm going to press apply. OK. So yeah, I press new apply. OK. And then it's going to split it into partitions and we're going to install our Windows 10 on the primary. And yeah, definitely a boost in terms of installing Windows. It's much faster um, than at what I was expecting. It took about three minutes, I would say. Okay, so once the Windows 10 install is complete, it's going to ask us to do a restart now. And then it's going to take you through the usual Windows 10 setup. So you want to set up your computer and install any drivers that you might need. And then after that, we should probably go over formatting the original one terabyte hard drive so that we can use it as storage. So I'm going to go to create and format hard disk partitions. If you remember, we turned it into unallocated space earlier. We're going to right click it, new simple volume. And then we are going to press next and next again. I'm going to go with the default. I'm going to go with next. It's really up to you. And then here, uh, I'm going to use NTFS and I'm going to rename this 7200 RPM. It's really up to you. You can change the name and you can also select a different format if that's what you prefer. And when you're ready, you just press next again and it will show you this and press finish. So it's going to format the hard drive and let's take a look and see how much storage is available on it. So this PC. Um, looks like there's 931 gigabytes available on the 7200 RPM hard drive. Nothing too fancy. So yeah, for me that is a lot of storage. And oh yeah, let me put up the before and after screenshots as well. So that you can get a better idea of the performance increase. So before, you can see that the speeds are... 193 and like 164 now it's definitely much faster keep in mind that there are faster m.2 ssds out there um, if you have the budget definitely go for it and then here is the disk info as well so m.2 ssds do get hotter but overall i hope this video helps you out thank you for watching take it easy